Where, if at all, do you disagree with any of your Democratic colleagues, uh, Democratic candidates on this issue of, of the troops, the funding of the war, how to get out? Well, I think it's the difference between leading and following. I think Hillary's right. All of us do want to end this war. But I have made very clear from the outset that the way to end the war is for the Congress to use its constitutional authority to fund. They should send a bill to the president with a timetable for withdrawal, which they did. The president vetoed, then it came back, and then it was the moment of truth. And I said throughout the lead up to this vote that I was against a funding bill that did not have a timetable for withdrawal, that it was critical for the Congress to stand firm. They were given a mandate by the American people. And others on this stage, Chris Dodd spoke out very loudly, loudly and clearly, but I want to finish this. Others did not. Others were quiet. They went quietly to the floor of the Senate, cast the right vote, but there is a difference between leadership and legislation. You want to name names? No, I think it's obvious who I'm talking about. <laughs> it is to me, but it might not be to, to some of the well, viewers. Senator Clinton and Senator Obama did not say anything about how they were going to vote until, until they appeared on the floor of the Senate, voted. They were among the last people to vote. And I think that the importance of this is, if they cast the right vote, and I applaud them for that, but the importance of this is they're asking to be President of the United States. And there is a difference between making clear, speaking to your followers, speaking to the American people about what you need, believe needs to be done. And I think all of us have a responsibility right. to lead on these issues, not just on Iraq, but on health care, on energy, on all the other issues. I'm going to give well, both of them a chance to respond to you, Senator Obama. Well, look, the, uh, I, I think it is important to lead. And I think, John, the fact is, is that I opposed this war from the start. So you were about four and a half uh, years late on leadership on this issue. Uh, and I, you know, I think it's important not to play politics uh, on something that is as critical and as difficult as this. Uh, now, the fact of the matter is, Joe has a legitimate perspective. It is not easy to vote for cutting off funding because the fact is there are troops on the ground. Uh, and uh, you know, I'll let Hillary speak for herself. But the fact of the matter is, is that all of us exercised our best judgment, just as we exercised our best judgment to authorize or not authorize this war. Uh, and I think it's important for us to be clear about that. All right. Senator well, and I think it's important, <clears throat> excuse me, particularly to point out this is George Bush's war. He is responsible for this war. He started the war. He mismanaged the war. He escalated the war. And he refuses to end the war. And what we are trying to do, whether it's by speaking out from the outside or working and casting votes that actually make a difference from the inside, we are trying to end the war. And each of us has made that very clear. We have different approaches. I have a three-step plan to bring the troops home starting now, put pressure on the Iraqi government to take responsibility and cut off aid when they won't, and engage in intensive diplomacy regionally and internationally. The differences among us are minor. The differences between us and the Republicans are major. And I don't want anybody right. in America to be confused. Let me let Senator Edwards uh, respond. Are the differences minor between you and these Democratic candidates? There, there are differences between us. And I think Democratic voters deserve to know the differences between us. I think there is a difference between making very clear when the crucial moment comes on Congress ending this war what your position is and standing quiet. I'm, that's, that's all I'm saying. All right. They eventually voted the right way. I respect them for voting the right, the right way. But there are important differences between us on this, and the voters are entitled right, to know that. 